should I do a little check-in before I leave? Hopefully it doesn't rain because it's looking, it's looking kind of cloudy outside. I think the plan today is to get matcha because I have a Starbucks gift card. And I know what you're thinking, like, Starbucks matcha isn't even that good. Um... I have a gift card. Also, it's not bad. Their matcha with cold foam on top is actually pretty tasty. I don't really have that many other... Well, no, I've tried like a fair amount of matchas actually, so I feel like I can speak. But step one is to get a matcha and maybe some kind of breakfast food. Step two is going to be trying to get my eyebrows threaded. I'll be going to an area where I think my friend gets hers done. Say, if I can go there, well, why wouldn't I? I packed up some books today because I might go to this buy and sell bookstore. The main place I'm trying to go, this other indie bookstore. I have a gift card from freshman year of high school. I've never used it and I kind of wanted to use it while I'm here. It's like an indie bookstore. It's not a chain and I was like what if I come back and it's just closed? Which is a little pessimistic I will admit but I was also trying specifically to look for French translated or originally French books. This year I am going to try to teach myself French. I have been taking French since I was little. That's not to say I ever got fluent or even slightly proficient. Like it's been a long battle. To be honest, when I was little I didn't even care about learning a language. I was just like, there's a bug inside. I was kind of like, I don't even care to learn a language because what use is it to me? But now I want to learn French and Spanish because I'm starting to realize yes the world doesn't just revolve around english speaking people it would be nice to know other languages and communicate with other people in different languages and even if i travel i mean i guess i don't even have to travel to find like a french speaking person but if i travel and i go to france i'll be able to speak to the locals and that would be really cool that would be a long way away though so for now I'm just trying to learn the language. And then Spanish, I really want to learn. There's so many Spanish speaking people in this country. It would be nice to be able to talk to people, not just in English. So that's the agenda for today. Okay, book girl haul. So they had some loaded diaper stickers. So of course I had to grab one. It was very important to me that I get one of those before I left the store. <laughs> I felt kind of awky filming in there. So I didn't really film a lot. This is what I ended up picking up. It's called Gunk Baby. And it's apparently about Basically, I'm thinking it's just like an anti-capitalist or anti-consumerism. Just like consumerism is flawed, a literary fiction or something. I'm also kind of expecting it to be a little fantastical. I don't know why, I think just because of the cover, I was very intrigued. I'll read that at some point. I have so many books right now, it's, it's wild. But I think now I might try to head to the other bookstore to see if they want to take some of them. Or maybe I'll just go browse in that bookstore and then if I see anything I like, maybe I'll try to see if they'll take some of my books. We'll see. See what happens. <laughs> I heard a robin this morning I'm feeling happy today Gonna put my cares in a whistle Blow them all away What if I've been unlucky Really I ain't got a thing 
There's a time I always feel happy, as happy as a king, when the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along. There'll be no more sobbing when he stops throbbing his old sweet song. Oh, wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead, get up, get up, get out of bed, cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red, live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen. I'm sure everyone was just anxiously awaiting this little haul, but I was able to trade a couple books, and I found a French version of Antigone, which I'm pretty excited about. I was looking for like a French translation of a modern book. Did not find that, but at least I have this. I have, in fact, read Antigone before like four years ago so don't really remember what happens but i'm glad i found it also i think the cover is pretty cool and i like the look of older books i don't know i think they're kind of aesthetic and then i also got the bell jar by sylvia platt i've been wanting to read this i've heard it's really sad but it's in pretty good condition also used though yep that's what i got from there now i'm just gonna head home